Assalamu alaikum students. I am Adnan Aziz with a new video of grade 5 practical part 2. Today we will learn about these topics that you can see on your screen. I will tell you how to do these things. So these we will do in Word and Excel. First of all we will start with sort. How to sort in numbers in Word. So suppose I am writing some numbers like this so you can see these are not in proper order so I want it in proper order so I have to select it on home tab we will go here where a z is written that is sort click it what you want to do with it ascending or descending suppose I want descending or ascending I will choose that from here I will choose number and from here I will select descending and click ok so it is selected uh, now it is arranged in descending order same you can do for ascending order from here now our next topic is columns and paper size So I have to create a new file like this document 2 is created already so here we will insert columns go to page layout and insert columns choose two or three columns that you want to divide your page in suppose I am choosing two columns so then after this you have to go to break column one time and break column again so it is now broken into columns your page is divided into two columns so I am going to undo this okay then our next topic is size page size this from here size on the page layout we can choose size normally we use A4 or letter I selected A4 now next topic is text box insert a text box and then download any picture and put it in your word file for inserting text box go to insert go to text box choose simple text box then you can erase it and you can make it bigger and then you can write in it or you can fill colors in it Like this and then you can start writing in it like this okay I'm going to delete this and then how to insert a picture from internet into your word file go to internet search suppose I am searching for Ferrari pictures I got these pictures choose any picture that you want to add Suppose I am choosing this one. You have to wait for picture to open. When it's open, then right click it. Go save image as. Click save image as. I want to save it in pictures and write its name car. Now save it. Go back to your file go to insert picture and click that card picture that you want to insert click insert this picture is inserted text wrap it square that you can move it easily where you want to put it so this is our Microsoft Word work that is finished here now in Excel we have to write something then we have to make the bar chart and column chart of it and then addition and subtraction and average using a formula in Excel I have written something like this how to no, 
I have to close this one. I want this file and make it column chart and bar chart. Select it, go to insert column, choose any style and in chart chart title you want to add, you can add it. That is column chart. It is selected. First you have to select and then go to insert. Then go here and choose column chart or this is bar chart. You can pick it up from here and put it on the side. You can resize it from this place. Then how to calculate sum of these numbers. Suppose I want to add these three numbers of Atif. So click here, press equal to. Then you can see the cell address of this that is in column F and row 9. So its cell address is F9. So I have to write F9 plus next cell address is G column and row 9. So it's G9 plus H9. H9. So press enter. It will calculate sum. And difference here you will click is equal to start with equal to every formula will start with equal to I want the difference of these two numbers so I have to write the cell address of these two numbers start with equal to write first cell address that is 32 g9 g9 minus this 30 is h9 mean h column and row 9 h9 press enter so difference is calculated mean we subtracted these two numbers and we got two answer average for calculating average we have to write first up average then calculate it start with equal to it is sum divided by how many subjects are there sub sum is 96 and what is it the column address and uh, row address i9 i9 divided by divide means slash how many subjects are there there are three subjects so we have to divide it with three press enter so it will calculate you the average so this was your today's lesson students See you with a new video in future, inshallah. Stay safe, take care.